Abigail Henry by Helen Found, photographs by Ruby Foote. The first rays of sun were just lighting the sky when Abigail Henry arose. An early fall chill had o'ertaken the land and she hustled right into her clothes. Gathering eggs was a chore to be done. With her basket and shawl she was sent. The first nest she found had four eggs deep inside. So into her basket they went. Down back of the barn she was met with a sight that surprised and delighted her too. A wee little calf was just trying to stand. She could tell at a glance it was new. Then on to the well with a bucket in hand, a neighbor boy helped draw it up and they shared the cool water from out of the ground, how she loved that first drink from her cup. But breakfast was waiting, so Abby ran back. Her father was starting to read from the old family Bible that everyone knew would supply all the strength they would need. The food was delicious, the fresh eggs and mush, with a few fried potatoes and ham, and her mother's good bread that was lovingly spread with the summer's sweet blackberry jam. The schoolhouse was waiting for scholars to come. Abby covered two miles on the run, for she wanted to get there in plenty of time. She believed that the lessons were fun. At recess, she played with the hoops and the stilts while the boys had a fine game of tag. It was soon time for lunch and before very long came the moment to lower the flag. Back home, chores were waiting, so Abby chipped in. Then she picked up her needle and thread. She was piecing a top from some old scraps of cloth. It would make a fine quilt for her bed. She worked with her mother in making a stew, and she stirred up some biscuits herself. Then after the meal, she washed kettles and pots and returned every dish to the shelf. As twilight descended, the candles were lit while the family all sat by the fire until mother declared that her spinning was done. It was time for them all to retire. So Abigail Henry went quietly up with a candle in hand for a light. As she finished her prayers, Abby called out with love, may you have pleasant dreams and good night. Tennessee Country Village and Museum thanks Ruby Foote for her express permission to broadcast this read aloud of Abigail Henry via our YouTube and social media platforms. For more information and resources to use at home, please visit our website at www.gcv.org.